Hey everyone and welcome to another video from OnlineMathAcademy.com Today we're looking at this problem which is a Calculus 1 problem and it's a very traditional Calculus 1 problem and one that every Calc 1 student should be able to solve. This encompasses a lot of the early topics in Calculus 1. And the question asks us to find the equation of the line tangent to y equals x plus e to the x at x equals 0. So what do we have here? Let's, let's take a look. First, we have some curve. And to be honest with you, I didn't even know exactly what this curve looked like until I graphed it myself. And anyway, this is unimportant. You don't really need the graph. But here is the graph of the, uh, this is the graph here. It's just a rough sketch. It's something that looks like this. So it's asking us, what's the equation for this line that at x equals 0 we want to know the equation of this tangent line. And the tangent line is just the line that barely hits uh, our curve, the line that just touches it once. Um, you know, it, it doesn't intersect it at two places, it just hits it at one place locally. Okay, so that dotted line is the equation we want the line for. And we know that an equation for a line is written as y equals mx plus b where you have a, um, a value for m and a value for b. So here the b looks to be pretty close to 0. b is the uh, y-intercept. And m is the slope. And the slope looks to be positive, right? Rise over run looks to be positive. But we don't know the exact value, and we don't know the exact value of the y-intercept. That's what we're asked to find. Okay, now that we know what we're trying to find, how do we go about doing it? Well, we essentially need to find this value for m and this value for b. So this is the one thing you need to know. Um, to find the slope of a line tangent to a curve, f of x, or y in this case, then first find the derivative which is f prime of x, then let x equal x naught. Oh, uh, to find the slope of a line tangent to some curve f of x at x equals x naught. So in this case, x naught is 0. In this case, x naught is 0. Um, then first, you want to find the derivative of the function. And then you want to just plug in whatever x naught is. So in this case, plug in 0. So let's do that. If our uh, function is y, and remember, y and f of x are interchangeable. So y is x plus e to the x, right? Okay, then the derivative of y, and hopefully you know this right now, is the derivative of the sum. And basically that's just the sum of the derivatives. So it, what's the derivative of x? The derivative of x is 1. What's the derivative of e to the x? Well, we have a simple chain rule there, and it's going to be uh, equal to plus e to the x, times 1, but I'm just not going to write the 1. So there is, I've calculated the derivative, f prime of x, or in this case, we did y prime. It's the same thing. And then what I want is to let the x equal the value I want it to equal. So here we let x equal 0. x naught is 0 in our case. So then we have y prime equals 1 plus e to the 0. And that's the same as 1 plus 1, right? Because e to the 0 is 1. And so y prime is 2 when x is 0. Okay, so that's the slope. This right here is the slope of the tangent line. So now we know that the slope here is equal to 2. Okay, so let's just rewrite what we have here. Um, so we have that y equals 
2x plus b. Now, we need to find a value for b, right? We need to define a value for b if we're actually going to uh, define this line well. Okay, how do we do that? Well, the one way we can go about it is we can temporarily use a value for x and y and plug in a value for x and y to find b. And you might ask, well, what value of x and y? Well, we know we want x to be x equals zero. So we'll write two times zero plus b. And what's y gonna be? Well, we know that this is a tangent line at x equals zero. So we know whatever the value of y is when we plug in zero up here, we get zero plus one. So we got y is one when x is zero for this curve right here. And that's this point right there. That's the point zero comma one. We know that point's on the tangent line too. That's the point it touches. Okay, so we can plug in one for y. So again, I plugged in x equals zero, and I used the x equals zero to find the corresponding y value, which is one, and I got y equals one, so let's simplify this even more. One equals zero plus b, so we get that one is b. So now that we have one is b, and we had before, I don't know if you saw it, we had m is equal to two, then we can easily define our line in y equals m x plus b form. So it would be y equals, plug in the value for m, which is two, x plus, plug in the value we found for b, which is one. And yeah, I use the uppercase letters here instead of the lowercase like I did before. But I just did that to show you that these are the values you have to find to define a line. And this is the answer to the problem. Congratulations to Mr. Burke. Um, Feel free to answer any of my questions when I post them online. And I hope you learned something here. Again, we learn how to find the equation of a line tangent to some curve here at a particular value of x. So remember, you have to take the derivative, then plug in that particular value of x into the derivative. That gives you the slope of the line. Then you have to use an x and y value to find b. The, the y value you use is the corresponding y value given the x value in the problem. And I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, keep working at calculus. And if you need any help, visit onlinemathacademy.com for some private tutoring. Thank you.